Okay. Uh, today we are going to uh, using uh, use VMD to align two proteins. Uh, we have uh, two proteins here, the green and uh, the red. Uh, the green protein structure is a structure predicted by the attacker online server, and uh, the red protein is a protein uh, we run a simulation, all time simulation of this protein in water. We, 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 we are going to compare the, the difference between these two structures. Uh, for the comparison, we need to align the two proteins together. Uh, there are many different ways. Today, we are going to use the uh, VMD to align the two proteins together. Here, this protein, this one, this protein one, that's a, uh, the, the protein one is a protein in uh, the green one. Uh, this two is a red one. We are going to align these two protein together. Uh, first, I'm going to open uh, protein one. So this protein one is no cartoon. Color change the background to white and the rem rem remove the axis. Okay, this is a protein one. Okay. And uh, to align the two protein together, uh, let, let, let me put the second protein. Let's use. Okay, here we have two protein. And uh, so this is a protein uh, calculated by ATASER. This is a protein uh, from a simulation of in the, in the water molecule. They have uh, their structures are a little bit different. And uh, we will align these two proteins together uh, to see the difference uh, obviously. And uh, here, each protein has three helix. Three helix, one, two, three, okay? And uh, we notice that for the two proteins, the helix two, this helix two have no big difference. Okay, we will, so when we align the two proteins together, we will align the helix two together. So we can see how this helix one changes uh, the difference between the helix one and the difference between the helix three. Okay, and uh, uh, here are two proteins. Oh, let's open. Here. Okay. Here we are going to paste this code. This means uh, we select the first protein zero. We select the first protein and we select the radio ID from thirty-seven to sixty-one. Uh, this. Part of residue is a residue in helix two. Okay, thirty-seven to sixty-one. So this part. Uh, okay, and uh, for for the second protein, we also select the same fragment. Okay, same part of the residue, and we only use the CR for atom. Uh, so the VMD will will will. will uh, we'll move the second protein uh, to the first protein and align these parts of the residue together. Okay, so we copy this code. And here, paste, enter. You can see right now we align the two protein together. Okay, 
you can see the okay, this is a helix. Let me see. Let's see this. This helix one, helix two, uh, this helix one, helix two, helix three. Okay, you can see the the, the helix two. They, they are aligned together very well, but the helix one and helix three they are different. They so, well. So right now, now next step we are going to take a picture. If you if you want to do the trans translational move for the protein, you can enter T, the keyboard enter T, and then you can move. If you want to do the rotation, you can enter R, then you can move. If you want to zoom in and zoom out, enter S. Bigger or smaller, enter S. Then you, you can enter pre press R of the keyboard, and then you can rotate the protein. For example, right now, we have we are going to take a picture of the protein, okay? And then what we are going to do is, uh, let's see here. First, let's increase the resolution of our protein. Okay. So then we take a picture. Well, render, and I can use this one. Protein one, protein two, and render. Okay. I see now we have this. We have this figure. You can also save the save to PDF. It's higher resolution. Okay, we may close. You can see here protein one, protein two. This is a figure we just made. And uh, here, uh, this is a TGA format. Okay, this is a figure we generated from VMD. If you want to open this TGA file, you uh, you need to install the Inkscape. You need to install this app in your computer and using this app to open this file. Then you can save as a PDF or other format you, you prefer. Okay. So now let's go to to do the other one. Okay. We we align the, these two proteins together. Let's let's do it one more time for the other proteins. This one. Is a protein predicted by ITASER. No, we compare this protein with a protein in the membrane. This is a protein, a protein structure in membrane. We want to see the difference between the two proteins. Second protein cartoon. Color ID, let's use it. Two. The first one, let's use it. Okay, right now we, we want to align the two protein together. Okay. You 
here. Open this PK console, and we copy paste our code over there. Right now, we align the two protein together. Okay, we we align the this helix two. Okay, this part is helix two. We align the the helix two of the two protein together. If you want to align other part of of the protein, what you need to do is uh, change this part of the code. Okay, make sure the two protein have the same number of atoms. Okay. Here, you need to change these two parts if you want to align other parts of the protein together. Okay. If you want to the whole protein together, what do you need to do? Just select for them here. If I want to align the whole protein, I just name. Okay, let's, let's do this. If I want to align the whole protein, I just use NA. Just a CR of the protein. Paste. Right now, I, I just want, right now I'm aligned to pro, two protein together uh, using the all the uh, CR items. You can see the effects is not very well. Okay, let's just use the previous one. Helix 2 aligned together. We can compare the Helix 1 and Helix 3, the difference. If you want to take a picture, the same. Make it bigger. And uh, render this one. Um, let's prove one. This protein three. Okay, protein three. And uh, start right there. Okay, you also maybe you, you want to increase the resolution of the two proteins. Okay, let's do it one more time. Save as PDF. Okay, here. You can see this is the, the picture we, uh, we, we capture in the VMD. Uh, okay, 